Just what are the initial emotions after that win? Uh, oh, we got an excited locker room, you know. I'm pretty, pretty pumped. Uh, um, for me, I, I, I don't know, just processing yet yeah, everything, the ups and downs, the emotion, how proud I am of this football team for so many reasons. Um, so many today, but so many as, uh, you know, we lost two of our last three against some good football teams and played an excellent team today. And, and to find a way to, to keep battling and, and come up with stops when we needed them and execute plays on, on top of that. You talked about a lot but battling, being resilient. How mm -hmm. proud are you of that aspect of oh, the Oh, extremely, extremely. That's what we said, you know, a year ago, I don't know if we, um, you know, they were so hot early and, and got in rhythm and we were able to go fast and, you know, get lined up, making calls and that. I, I, didn't, I didn't hear us um, coaching-wise or player-wise panicking and uh, feel like we're not getting where we need to be. Um, so really proud of them that way. Sorry, my throat, my voice is starting to go. Back-to-back -back seasons with bowl eligibility, just how big of that is that for you guys as a program? It's huge. I mean, it's huge. You, know, you guys have been here every day. You know, we, we've sat here for a long time just trying to keep it Keep, keep it even, do those things, not talk about it. But you know what, it's probably time for me to start talking about how proud I am about how far this program's come. It, it really has in a short time. And uh, that has to do with the players. The players, especially the ones that stuck around to, to believe in the direction, um, to our staff, support staff, administration, all those things that allow you to try to make progress like we have. And, uh, and, and to become bowl eligible, um, you know, last year we beat a, a bowl, uh, excuse me, a rated team to get the sixth win. To do it again this year, I think is extra special. But we got a lot of football to play, and uh, and now we've got to continue to take steps. And you know, that's the way I am. I'll probably talk more about the things we didn't do quite as clean as we want. But at this moment, though, uh, so proud, so proud of them, and, and happy for them. As I say, we 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 ask a lot, okay, and uh, it's not easy, and. Uh, but uh, under the stage and everything today, and weather included, it's a big win. Lance, how proud of you are of Jason Bean specifically? Oh, yeah, I just was talking radio. I said this, and probably not fair, and I don't say things like this a lot, but sometimes when you step out of your, your role as a coach, sometimes you, you let your emotions kind of get to you a little bit. But, you know, as, as disappointed and, and bad I feel for Jalen, not being able to play at this particular time, I'm I'm happy and and probably pulling for Jason in ways that I, I don't always because he's been unselfish. He he could have left like a lot of guys do today in college football. A lot of things he's been through, a lot of ups and downs, and uh, he just keeps coming back. And even even in the fourth quarter, or you know throws throws the interception. And uh, you know there's some things there, but he just kept fighting. And uh, that's all we can ask for him. And uh, to see him make some plays like he did today, I thought was really special. Yeah, what do you think about his poise to lead the, the game-winning drive, especially after those? Yeah, I, I, you know, again, there's times through the ups and downs, I go back to the, our first year, you know, when things aren't going well, the, the kind of look and things like that, and, and you, know, you kind of get discouraged. I, I thought even, even through some down moments, he found a way to, to keep battling. And like you said, persevering through it. And uh, again, he, he asked to talk to the team afterwards. And, and uh, you know, he's, he's thankful for them. They're proud of him and happy for him. It, it, it's a pretty <coughs> neat situation. Coming out of the Lightning Duel, you guys gave up those two touchdowns that you were able to keep scoring. Just why do you think the team was able to maintain its composure in that moment? Well, I, I think, you know, we, we found We've been through it on both sides. Last year we had a weather delay. Um, I think we have found that, of course, you know the, you know, the pick six with Mello to start the game, we ended up scoring again. You know, it wasn't like we were sputtering. Um, and um, I, I think we have confidence in, in one another. Our, our coaches felt solid that we, we were gonna be able to run the football. And if, if we could just find a way to, to make some things happen and get, you know, Settle down again, get back in the rhythm. It was going to be a four-quarter game, and 
you know, we talked about that at halftime. We, we got to be ready. If it's 60 minutes, but if it's five hours worth with weather delays, then that's what we got to do. And I know you guys didn't end up scoring off of it, but the pooch kick, is that something you guys sort of saw that, that made you want to go short and try to create a turnover in that way? Yeah, look, yeah, and that's credit to our special team staff, our analysts, all those guys uh, that do a great job. But, you know, we're kicking in the wind a little <clears> bit, you know, and, and uh, you know, the weather conditions, you know, we did it early in the game as well. Um, but uh, to, to kind of get the fumble there, obviously, was a, a big break for us. Yeah, just kind of looking at obviously big win. Uh, you know, big, big part of the SEC next year. Would you want to play Oklahoma next year? In oh, I, I, I don't. I respect the question. I'm not gonna. You know, I, I play who's on the schedule and, and go from there. You know, it's again, that's that's a lot of hypotheticals and, and things like that. Hopefully, uh, if nothing else. We are in a bowl, uh, bowl opportunity someday that maybe maybe the schools match, but um, I can't can't worry about who's who's going to be with us and who not anymore. X. Lance, can you, you take us through your thought process on the last play of the game? They're standing watching it, and then once they're rushing the field, how did you get out of there? <laughs> <laughs> um, the last play, I'm, I'm I'm sitting there going, I don't know, did Quentin did he did they credit him with the interception or not? You don't think know. He's out there. He's out, thank goodness. Again, I'm thinking, why are we knocking it down like I was yelling them to knock it down? Okay, that's number one. We'll talk about that Monday. Um, but again, where we're at, hopefully we're going to get some pressure. I wanted to make sure we we're trying to get some pressure uh, from his left side to try to flush him right a little more than we did. He did a nice job stepping up. But uh, uh, again, um, you know, again, it's is, is this one going to is it going to play out? You know, I, I'm thinking which way of. Uh, of the uh, TV shows, highlight films, is this thing going to play out on this last play? And uh, again, then uh, tried to go out there. I, I, I tried to look for Coach Venables, and then I got caught in a in a uh, you know a, a whole bunch of students. Um, I don't know off the fumes. And I, I hope nobody gives me a breathalyzer just off of the fumes out there. <laughs> <laughs> but but uh, um, no, I did. I did. I don't know. I just kind of looked. Actually, I, I kind of go. You know, it's, um, I've been through one of those once where where it wasn't really good a long time ago at the University of Wisconsin. So you got to be careful in those situations. Um, did find Coach Venables and had a chance to just talk to him and then just again trying to celebrate a little bit with our players, but of course keep them safe as well and get inside and and, and go from there. But Lance, oftentimes to win games like this. Things have to go your way. You have to play pretty clean, and you guys didn't exactly do that. How, how did you manage to overcome some of those things that did go against you? Just keep fighting. You know, I mean, I, I think when you look at it, both sides of the ball, uh, or both teams, uh, clean was probably some things that neither neither side would say perfect. I mean, they have two two 15-yard penalties in a row, and a targeting call on the same drive. We have some things not go our way as well. Um, you know, we're minimally in field goal range, and, and, and then we the penalty kind of takes us off and, and we get short there. Um, so a lot of things that are happening that, that aren't exactly the way you want it, like you said, but uh, so it makes this game special. And, and I think that's one thing that, well, where we've grown as a football team, Matt, is understanding that we just got to keep playing. Uh, and, you know, our disposition and, and confidence and you know, just the look in their eye and body language is night and day difference than, than a year and a half ago. You know, it, it just is, or two years, whatever. And, and and it's a sign of playing, making plays and doing things, and uh, and we know that you got to keep doing that in this conference. A couple quick specific plays I wanted to ask you about. When Devin scored the, the game-winning touchdown yeah. there, what – did, did he talk about maybe he should have gone down? Yeah, you guys? know, again, I'll, again, you want to do it? That, that's on me. Sure, okay, I'm just that, curious. No, yeah. that's on because when we looked, we we hit such a big play. When we looked and we had a figure, and, and as quickly as I didn't, I didn't think they'd let him right away per mm -hmm. se, which maybe is is definitely my fault. But um, it was quickly. I was saying it as we were snapping it. Andy and I were talking about just running it and doing it and. Uh, and like Devin said, nobody said, and we didn't give them yeah. the give them the call to make sure we go down. Sure. So, um, so we, we we really I should just say that we wanted everyone who stayed for the whole game to get their complete money's worth, right? <laughs> Good. Good and, and then 
being on the, the, the one that was called targeting when he slides near the goal line, what, what's your perspective or, or what do you want to see on something like that? I, what, what are you really asking? Should be going? Should he should be going forward? Well, right? sure. Yeah, yes. I'm wondering if. That, yeah. But I also know. You, yeah. you know, you can't yeah. afford to lose. Yeah, him, right? that's the first thing I said. I mean, I, what what should we have done? Because the targeting calls also when you slide, it's where you start, and that's that's where everything had to be. Re- it, it had to be there. Is that because he, he comes close to scoring, and, and he knew it as soon as, as soon as it happened. But um, yeah, those are things we've talked with Jason for a long time about. Instead of sliding lunging, you know, getting forward, getting down, but, but staying low and, and unfortunately he didn't do it. And that, he'll probably tell you the same thing. Last one, a positive one for me, the JB fumble, uh, the hit, he, he knocks yeah. the ball out. I mean, that, that's the guy you were talking about all camp. He's made other plays, but that's gotta be his biggest to date, huh? Yeah, probably. I mean, I, I guess uh, I, I appreciate that you, that you notice I say he can hit and, and then he can run and hit. Yeah, I, I couldn't tell who hit and, and right. who recovered, but the way he came off the field, I had a feeling it was him, and uh, you know that was a big, big play at that moment, no doubt. Yep. Lance, everybody's going to talk about the offense. You know, the defense got some stops too, and I just want to know what your take is on their play. Yeah, you know, I should probably study this a little better for you guys, but I mean, yardage was so close, what, three yards different? I mean, 440 yards for them on 74 plays, and we have 443 on 73. I mean, that's a, and it's a one point game. I think it kind of all points that direction how close it was. But you're right. Um, we, we got some stops when we needed to. And, uh, and it was, uh, yeah, maybe it wasn't always the prettiest, but, you know, that's a really good football team. And, uh, and, and for us to do that in battle, like I said, I'm extremely proud. And then hire 70 recruits on hand. I mean, what can this game do? Yeah, I'm, you know, I was I was telling Travis the other day, you know, first of all, 70 recruits, that's big. You know, high school season around, you know, there's there's recruits there that are equally as excited as, as we are, you know, in, the, in there. It was it was awesome to see because they see Kansas football's changing. And, um, and then you couple with what's coming on the horizon, there's so many great things. Rain or no rain is a beautiful atmosphere, and there's so much to it that we can build upon. I was saying, I told Travis, our first year we had we, visiting coaches, you know, get tickets. I think high school coaches and stuff. We had six coaches request tickets. We had 75 for this one. Now, there's teams still playing and doing things. But there's a, this is a monumental uh, uh, shift in what's, how this program is being perceived. And we need to keep working to, to make that a constant. Where does this one rank up on that list of the big ones you got? Uh, it'd probably have to be as big as any. I, I mean, and I, I usually don't do that, but uh, I'm, I'm not in the mood right now to, to, to downplay this win, okay, for a lot of reasons. Um, um, hopefully it's, it's a sign that we can continue to try to fill this stadium, that we continue to recruit at a, at a high level and do so many things. So, yeah, and to become bowl eligible for two consecutive years. Um, Again, it's uh, a lot, a lot of great things. Appreciate you asking. Right. Everyone else, have a great weekend. Thank you. Thank you.